Hi there, welcome back. Today we will create a seamless moving line transition between the clips. For this demo, I put a few clips and a title in the timeline. We will apply a push style transition and connect them by a moving line. Before we proceed, let's add a mask to each of the clips, so we have rooms for running lines. From the effects library, drag the custom effect essential mask ellipse to the first clip. This is a template I created for using fusion masks directly in the edit page. I have the link in the description. Of course you can also do all the masking in the Fusion page. Enable on-screen control for the Fusion overlay. Resize the mask to about 0.25. Switch the on-screen control to Transform. Resize the clip to fit the image in the circle as much as possible. Press Ctrl C to make a copy of the first clip. Select the second clip and press Alt V to open the Paste Attributes window. Check Fusion Effects, click Apply button, and the same mask is now applied to the second clip. Again, we can resize and move the clip to have a good view of the palm tree. For the third clip, apply a rectangle mask. Turn on the Fusion overlay, resize the mask to around 0.25, and set the corners to round. Turn on the transform on-screen control overlay, resize the image as needed. To make sure the fusion composition will be using the same resolution of the timeline, we convert the clips to compound clips. Right-click the clips, choose new compound clip. Name them as flight, beach, and walk. Select the flight clip and go to the Fusion page. Add a background node to the node editor, merge with media in node. Change the color to white. Click the polygon button in the toolbar to add a polygon mask to the background. As we are creating a line, uncheck the solid option in the inspector. Set the border width to 0.01. Change the border style to mitre. Head style to square. Disable the auto keyframe for the shape animation. Go to the viewer. We will create a line moving from left to right in the middle. Click the outside of the left screen to add the first point. Hold the shift key and click to add the next control point. This will ensure a straight horizontal line, even the click position is a little off from the previous point. Continue holding the shift key and add two more points to the polar line. Now we have a horizontal line crossing the screen in the middle. In the viewer toolbar, change the edit mode to modify only. Select the point by the left side of the circle, hold the control key and drag the right side handle to adjust the curve. Adjust the point on the right with control dragging the left side handle. Keep adjusting both points until we have a nice half circle line. This looks good now. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip at frame 0. Mark a keyframe, set the length to 0. Move forward to frame 60, change the length to 1. Open the spline editor. Select both keyframe points. Press S or click the Smooth button to smooth the keyframe curve. We now have a pretty nice and smooth self-drawing line. Select both background and polygon node, press Ctrl C or right-click to make a copy. Click the Clips button in the interface toolbar at the top to open the Clips panel. Select the second beach clip. Press Ctrl V to paste the background and polygon nodes into the node editor. Merge the background to the media in node. Select the polygon node. Double click the length parameter to reset and remove all keyframes. In this clip, we want the line to come in from the left, loop around the image and then move downward to the bottom. 
Go to the viewer. Select all the polyline control points. Shift drag the polyline to the left, we will use it as a reference, so that the line looks like it is moving from the previous clip on the same path. Go back to the node editor, and click the polygon button in the toolbar to add another polygon node. In the viewer, right click the center control, and choose polygon 2, polyline, create, ellipse. Change the size to 0 0.28. Keep the counterclockwise orientation option checked. Click OK to confirm. In the inspector, uncheck the solid option. Set border width to 0 0.01. Change the border style. Disable keyframing for the shape animation. Align the position with the circle image if needed. Select Polygon 1 node. In the toolbar above the viewer, change to Click Append mode. Shift click to add new points and create a straight turning line. Switch to Modify Only mode. Select the points from the previous clip, press Delete key to delete the selected points. Move to frame 30 and go to the inspector. Enable the keyframe for the length parameter, set the length value to 0.1. Go to frame 45, change the length so that it reaches the circle. Select Polygon 2 node. Mark a keyframe for its length parameter. Change the length to 0. Move to frame 75, set the length to 1. After the circle is closed, the polyline 1 will continue moving down. Select polygon 1, mark a keyframe for the length parameter. Go to frame 90, set the length to 1, and a keyframe is added as the ending of the animation. But you may have noticed that the two lines are not aligned at the joint position. Select polygon 1 node. Drag to select the two vertical points. Press left or right arrows to refine their position. This is good now. Go to the spline editor. Smooth the curve of first and last points of the polygon 1's length keyframes. Play the clip. We now have combined two polygons keyframes and made them like one continuous line movement. We have done the line in the second clip. Create a copy of the three nodes for the next clip. Select the third clip in the clip panel and paste the nodes into the node editor. Merge to the node tree. Delete polygon 2 node. Select the polygon 1 node. Double-click the length parameter in the inspector to reset and remove the keyframes. This time the line is coming down from the previous clip. Select all points and shift-drag to the top. Set edit mode to click append. Hold the shift key and click to create a polyline that goes under the image and turns right to outside of the right edge. Switch to Modify mode, delete the previous points. As we did for the second clip, keyframe the length parameter from frame 30 to 90 and smooth the keyframe points. Copy the nodes and go to the last title clip. Paste the nodes and merge to the node tree. Repeat the steps to draw a Z shape line and animate from left to right. We now have all lines and animations set up for individual clips. Go back to the edit page. Move the playhead to where the line completes drawing at the right edge. Press shift right to move the playhead forward one second. Trim the clip to the playhead position. For the second clip, 
Trim the beginning by one second to where the line starts moving. Select the edit point and press Ctrl T to add a standard transition. Drag the edge to extend duration to 2 seconds. Go to the inspector. In the transition tab, change the type to push. Set preset to push right. Select in and out as the ease mode. Repeat the same trimming on the second and third clips. Select the transition, hold the Alt key and drag to the edit point between the second and third clips. In the inspector, change the preset to push up. Trim the ending of the third clip. Alt drag to duplicate the first transition to the third and last title clip. Play the timeline, and we now have a line seamlessly moving across multiple clips. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.